Hello everyone, this is Lawless Laws and welcome back to Jade Empire. In the last episode we helped uh, a kid get some, uh, get a bowl or some sort of artifact to pay some debt off. I, I don't know, we don't really need to know. Probably some uh, drug money that wasn't paid off. You know, that's, that happens. Happens a lot. Happens to me pretty much all the time. But in this episode we're going to finish up some of the side quests here in the necropolis the beautiful necropolis tourist resort and uh, i'm probably gonna get ambushed by ghosts yep that was predictable anytime there's a gigantic opening that looks sort of like an arena I, you can expect enemies i mean i'm not a game designer but that seems pretty uh pretty typical pretty uh par for the course Enemy generation coming out of... Oh my god, I hate these lost spirits with a freaking passion. I mean, they're guaranteed to get hits on me, is, is the main thing. I don't like enemies that are guaranteed to hit you. I, I don't really consider that fair. I mean, again, I'm not a game designer, but I am a game player. Play a lot of games. And uh, there's not many games that I can think of where there's just automatic enemy hits that, you know, most people would consider very fair. Tomb of the Forgotten Scholar. Sure, why not? Let's... Ooh. Spooky. Who's this guy? No, no. We can't allow that to happen. It would be too much to bear. But this poor wretch isn't much good either. No, not at all. But what else is there? What else is there? Uh, you got some interesting eyes. I don't know what, what is wrong with the eyes in this game. Huh? What do you want? You you can't have me, corpse. Not yet. Uh, I'm not a corpse. I'm Sweaty Hong, I'm not dead. You? You're not dead? Yeah, I just said that. I'm sorry, I just... I just panicked. I thought you were some spirit here for revenge. Well, I might be here for revenge. A revenge for what? Ah, well, my work, you see, while very important, very important, may upset some of those spirits not fully at peace. Oh, goodness. What are you doing here? I... I am conducting my research. Research in what? I am a doctor by trade, studying the internals of the body and the energies that drive it. But lately, I have come on hard, hard times. My daughter, Wen Si Wei, has fallen ill, and nothing in my previous training could help me with what ails her. Her liver has been rotted from within, corrupted by some energy I have never encountered before. She's probably just a heavy drinker. Uh, she's dying then? That is what I fear. Her liver has been corrupted, and now her body no longer responds well. Without my efforts, she would be dead already. I... I could not stand the possibility of her loss, so I took matters into my own hands. I researched the workings of the body and the spirit, as well as the lore of the creatures that live beyond death. The lore. I believe I have found a way to save my daughter, but I have not been successful in my efforts. Can I help? I have found a way to strengthen, no, to replace the corrupt flesh of one living creature with that of another. That sounds like Frankenstein. Through the energies of the earth and by the divine will of heaven, her body can be made to accept the organ as if it were a part of her. She can be given a new life. But these cursed, wretched corpses do nothing for me. They are too old, too dead. Their organs are rotted beyond repair, even the ones recently buried. I need something else. Something more. Either one that is perfectly preserved, or one that is fresh. Her time is drawing near. If I cannot get a new organ for her soon, I fear it may be too late. Well, uh... You want me to find a new liver? Yeah, sure. I need a liver that has been perfectly preserved. Even a short time after death, the flesh begins to decay. Only a few rare bodies are truly well preserved. 
I have tried all the organs I could find, but none work. A nobleman here, Ji Zin, had his body preserved well enough and buried in this graveyard, but his corpse has moved. Uh, moved? I'll find the preserved nobleman for you. Thank you. Whatever I can give you in reward, I will. Please hurry. The nobleman was buried in one of the larger tower tombs closer to the entrance. I tried to enter, but... His corpse had risen, covered in the protective wrappings he was buried in. I, I would not have survived. Please, get the liver from him quickly. Okay, alright, calm down. I think we can do that. Uh, so this guy's a mad scientist. His name is Mad Wynn. Well, more like a mad doctor, I guess? I mean, a scientist and a doctor are somewhat interchangeable, you know. But, uh, we gotta go find him a liver. So uh, we might as well go do that. I'm, I'm all for uh, furthering scientific pursuits. Oh my god. Are these guys gonna come out every single time? Because if that's the case, uh, I'm not gonna be a happy panda. I'm gonna be a very sad panda. And nobody wants to see a sad panda. Come on. In fact, if that's the case, I'm gonna have to switch to, um, probably Chai Ka, because he gives me health. Because I'm not really gonna need Chi for anything, so I'll just get Chai Ka to give me health. Put him in support. Because this is just, this is just annoying. I'll be honest, this is one of the most annoying things that I've had to encounter in this game. I'm sorry, Dawnstar, you gotta go. As much as I'd love to give you screen time since you really haven't been in the game very much, due to me, we gotta have Chai Ka to give me that extra health. Because we're gonna be fighting those guys multiple times, because I think the tomb he was talking about is this one, maybe. Is it? Oh, yeah it is. <laughs> it was already open, and I just closed it. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's pretty cool looking. Oh my gosh. It's pretty powerful. They tried to take from me, and they died. I feasted on their souls. Such is the evil I was in life, and am again in death. The underworld has no place for me. Jizen lives. Um... You're just what I'm looking for. <laughs> you seek me. You seek one so evil that his very touch spreads the corruption his vanity has caused. My perfect body is a testament to my crimes. To live and feed in death are all that are left to me. Uh, you have a chance to repent for your sins. A chance to repent. Can it be that after all this time, after years of living death, I am given this one chance to make something right? Yeah. What is this chance you speak of, mortal? What is this false hope you dangle before me? Dude, I'm not dangling anything. I need your liver to save a young girl. A girl? After so long, a girl? <laughs> but I'm a vile and corrupt being, forever damned by the life I led. Set here in this wretched form to walk forever. Uh, if one is willing, there's always a chance for redemption. Redemption? For one such as me? I think not. My life was spent in greed and vanity and corruption. Even in death, I sought to preserve my perfect form. You can still redeem yourself, for man. Jesus, just give me the goddamn evil liver. Progress even into death? No, there is no hope for me. None at all. And you stand here mocking me for it. I'm not mocking you. Just give me the goddamn liver. If you save your life, you may be redeemed. Ah, oh, the temptation. Yes. So much logic. So much philosophy. But who knows what the heavens will truly decide in the end. But for the chance, and it is a girl, so young... I can taste her pain and suffering lingering about you. So like my own. 
The blood is thick in my veins. A solid mass where fluid used to flow, now dried and brittle. But the heart still stirs, and it can be moved, though tears no longer flow. My life has been wasted on my own sins, and in death I have nothing except them. This young thing, this girl, she still deserves life. If my end means this girl lives, then may the heavens look kindly upon me, even though I know they won't. If damnation is my fate, then let it be worth something in the end. Good. Now give Take me your what liver. You need, mortal. Jesus. I didn't need to hear you talk for five freaking hours. Jesus, just give me thank you. The liver we leveled up. Wonderful. Good lord. He was about to talk me to death. Is there anything in here? No, they're just glowing urns. I see that we leveled up, but I'm gonna wait until we fight the lost spirits that we're inevitably gonna fight, because it's gonna take down some of my health. And uh, I might as well get free uh, HP. Well, maybe not. We'll see. If we come out of here, we might have to fight some more. I hope not. Maybe it's just two times. But let's give a uh, mad when G his liver you have, have you managed to find some way to help me uh yeah I have a preserved liver you you do thank you thank you you're welcome you're welcome yes yes it looks like it's been preserved well enough I am amazed that you managed to get this intact well uh he now gave I it over willingly energy. her life energy is fading fast. Ew. Ah, it looks like the operation has worked. She should be safe now. Her breathing has slowed and her heart rate is returning to normal. Dude, you're a really clean surgeon. I see absolutely no so blood on the crowd. Can stand on her own again. But I'm certain she will make it. Not here though. Not in this place of death. Yeah, you just put in a new liver. She's not bleeding. Might as well just take her out of here. As I promised, I will give you all that I have left. Everything else was spent in pursuit of this dream. I must take her to a place where she can heal. You have my eternal gratitude for what you have done. No problem, man. I was glad to help. Oh no, not this guy again. Thank you for what you have done. I have been redeemed in my own eyes and in the eyes of heaven. Peace indeed can come to any soul. There we go! So we uh, not only helped the girl, but we helped that guy into his pursuit of uh, heaven. Which is, um, well, he sounded like a bad guy. And I guess he saved one girl's life, but I don't know. I, I think if I were the judge, he'd probably still be uh, not, not going to heaven. But you know, I, I'm not the judge. That's the reason why I'm not the judge. But looks like we've got some Where ghosts over baby? here. Your baby's dead. I mean, uh, I, hello, Miss Jackie Chan. What's going on? My baby. <coughs> Where is he? Where has Shen taken him? Shen? Uh, what has Shen done with your baby? took him from me and after so little time he was only a few moments old when that monster ripped him away from me please find my baby bring him back to me let me know how he's doing well he's he's a baby how can i help you find your baby please you have to help me find him shen must know where he is that abominable little man took him from me. Kill him. Torture him. Whatever you need. Just find my baby. All right, all right. Jeez. I'll speak with Shen. Find that hideous little man and bring the truth out of him however you can. God. All right. Another just, like, utterly annoying ghost. Oh, no. Not an, not an arena. Why can't I die in peace? I don't know. Merchant, bye. You. What do you want? Have you come to torture me more? 
Have you come to see me suffer here unavenged? No one cries for merchant buy. What happened, buy? Uh, why are you causing trouble? You. You can understand? You don't run in terror like the rest. Instead, you talk to me. Perhaps you can help. Yeah, that's what I'm here to do, man. I was a merchant in life. Not a rich one, but I made enough to survive. I sold mostly to the poorer sections of the city. Oh, floating ghost. <laughs> but they were practical. At the time, there were a pair of brothers, Seet Su and Si Ran, who were the terror of the streets. They extorted money and goods from everyone. They tried to extort from me. Oh, no. What did you do? When I wouldn't give them what they wanted, they, they decided to make an example of me. They killed me and mutilated me Ugh. and left me dead in that alley. That sucks. They terrorized the city for weeks after that, but they were finally run down. That might have been where it ended, just as done, but it wasn't. What happened? They were buried here, with me. Their deaths, execution by beheading, were harsh enough that they have risen again. My spirit cannot rest quiet with them here. Even now in death, they mock me and torment me as they did in my final moments of life. They drive me mad. Calm down, calm down. Uh, if I can help you, will you rest peacefully? Rest peacefully? Yes, yes. If my killers are at least removed from this world, their spirits will no longer torment me. You, you must find a way to defeat them and drive them from this place. Okay, I will, Jesus. They were common criminals, so they were not given a normal burial. They were dumped in a communal grave underground to the south. I'm sure you can find them. Oh, that sounds just fun Thank as you, all hell. If you can truly help me, if, if you do, I'll show you something that even Shen hasn't found yet. Uh, I, I'm not sure I, I want to see that. Um, if, if it is what I think it is. Where are you, Lost Spirits? Yep, there they are, of course. How how could I have guessed that Lost Spirits would be there? Uh, at least I'm getting a little bit of health for my trouble. Um, we're going to continue on. We're not going to enter this grave quite yet, or this tomb, rather. It's not really a grave. Because um, I want to find there were three ghosts, and I want to find the third one. Uh, before we start heading into anything much bigger than we've already gotten into. Tomb of the Masses. I guess that's where the, uh, that criminal guy was. He said to the south, I guess. Vengeance will be mine! Okay, I, I think this is the other ghost. <laughs> What's up, Ren Ming? That cheating, lying sow! Sullying the Ren name and dragging it in the dirt like this! Putting me in the dirt! Ren Fang, if I ever get my claws on you, I'll leave you a stinking bloated corpse! Whoa, whoa, calm down, man. Uh... What are you ta who are you talking about? The whore of a wife who left me to die. Who killed me. Poisoned me in my own house when I find her. Uh, you're dead, you can't do anything now? Oh, but I can! I can find her and tear her to shreds! I'll scatter her bones to the corners of the earth! God, dude, calm down. But first, I need to find my way out of this damnable cemetery! No matter which way I turn, I always end up back here! Uh, could I find your wife for you? Find her. Bring her to me. Let me kill her and draw the last agonizing breaths from her body, and you will have my eternal gratitude. Most likely, she's still at our old home. It's in the market district near the entrance to the Black Leopard School. Find her and bring her to me. Okay, I can do that. Um, so I guess we will be going back to the Imperial City, uh, just for a little bit to go pick up that woman. Uh, cluster of Graves. Read the inscriptions. Uh, okay. Don't know what that means yet. Uh, please, please no ghosts. Just 
Can I just walk through here? No! Come on! I am just getting sick and tired of these these mad shenanigans. It's just one of them. Uh, that being said, I mean, lost spirits, Jesus, the bane of my existence. And not like the cool bane from Batman, just like bane is in the bad thing. Bad bane. Oh my gosh. So let's go, um, before I end off the episode, let's go talk to the gravedigger guy. I already forgot his name. I think it's Shen. Is that his name? Uh, yeah. Help! One of those damn spirits came up right in my backyard. The stupid thing won't let anyone get by. It's got my tools and everything. Just kill the damn thing. Uh. Oh, okay. Where are you, spirit? It's just a random ghost. Good job teleporting right there, bro. You want to heal me? I guess I don't need any health, but... You could heal me. I wouldn't stop you. If you gave me extra health, that'd be nice. Then turn into Raiden or whatever the hell you do. Oh, no! I'm on fire. Ha how terrible. Uh, is there anything in this house that we want? Can we kick this one? No. Turn around. This way. Uh, yeah, there's a cabinet. Seductive power. Could seduce some people. But I don't think we want to do that. I think we want to talk to Gravedigger Shen. What's going on, bro? It's dead then? Heh. <laughs> Good. I knew that old bag would try to come back for me someday. But she wouldn't have guessed I'd have someone like you on my side. Uh, you knew that ghost? <laughs> yeah, I guess you could say that. She was my mother-in-law. Never once in her life did she say a kind word to me, and now she tried to keep at me even in death. You got what you deserved! Do you hear me? You deserved it! Wow, what a dick. <laughs> but any good job deserves a reward, of course. Here you go. She had some nice things in her grave, too. <laughs> Since she's gone, I guess she won't be keeping me from them anymore. <laughs> wow. You are a sick bastard. You're robbing her grave. It's not a robbery. Uh, we're family. I'm just taking it back. Besides, she doesn't need it anymore. And I do. Yeah, you look like you need a now, lot of things. Go and find those ghosts I told you about. <laughs> Can't get a good day's work done with them still around. Yeah, uh, about that. We need to talk to you. The grave digging business sure is a killer. <laughs> oh my god. I want to kill what you myself. You uh, like to ask about one of your troublesome ghosts? What about them? What about them? Tell me about Miss Chan. Ah, Miss Chan. A tragedy, really, and one that happens all too often. It's always the pretty ones who go. She died in childbirth, and, and the baby died with her. Her family put her in the family plot along with her son. She came up again recently, looking for revenge on me. She seems to think that I killed her baby, or took it, or, or something. Maybe she saw me take away the body, but she won't believe me. Every time I go near, she tries to kill me. Uh... That's valuable retail space over there. Tell me what you know about her baby. Her baby? Not much. It's in one of the plots there, I'm sure. You can find it if you look. Hmm, uh, it was a long time ago. I, I don't even remember what its name was. Hmm, but it was short. I know that. Definitely less than three words. But, sorry, that's really all I remember. Well, that's, uh, Anything that's a lot to go on. To know about the ghosts? No, I, I'm t I'd, I'd like to talk to you uh, as little as possible. Oh, well, if you do find one, put it back in the ground. That's when you'll get your money. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything else? No, nothing. I must be going. Leave me alone. Well, you know where to find me. Unfortunately, <laughs> I think I do. Okay, so um, I think I'm going to end it off here. We'll do our level up real quick before we end off the episode. We might as well. 
put a couple in Chi, put one in Focus. Uh, actually, we'll leave Focus where it is and improve body a little bit, because we haven't really improved our body that much. I mean, we got to look pretty damn sexy if we want to get anything done. Um, upgrade Paralyzing Palm, of course, because it's a great combo with what we already have. We'll save the changes. We'll save that extra three skill points. Um, we haven't fully increased our speed on Thousand Cut, which is something that I'm going to want to do pretty quickly. Um, it's already the fastest style in the game, but you know, since we're going to be using it a lot against ghosts uh, in the future, and like currently, obviously, because we're fighting a lot of ghosts, we might as well improve the speed. But like I said, I'm going to end it off here. In the next episode, we're going to go back. We're going to go find um, Ren's wife. I think his name was Ren. He's a ghost. Uh, and then we're going to come back. We're going to deal with those three ghosts. We're going to deal with the criminal and find that woman's baby. And, uh... You know, maybe we can get some money from that creepy guy, because we definitely need the money from the creepy guy, and we also don't want to talk to him very much, so one more time wouldn't be too bad. So like I said, uh, I'll end it off here, and as always, thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time.